Lisa. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm excited to teach you how to make our version, Filipino version of ceviche. We call it kinilaw. And my version is what we do in my island, Negros Island. If you can't find some of the ingredients where you're from, you click to my website and there's so many options. Because believe me, even when I go to the States or to Europe, I make this dish and I substitute. That's what I do. So let's start. Now, I have here my fish. Now I have to emphasize, you gotta use fresh fish. It can't be frozen fish. Because this is the heart of your recipe. This is the main ingredient. This is the star. Now if your fish isn't fresh, don't bother. I have your red onions, which I cut thinly into half moon cut. And I have here my tomatoes. I have here salted red eggs. It's duck eggs that's salted. Now, if you don't have this where you're from, or you're not that adventurous, omit it. Doesn't really matter. And I have here Filipino lemon, or what we call calamansi. If you can't find this, use lemon. Doesn't really matter, or lime. It's fine. And just because it's in season now, I have here grated raw mangoes. I have black beans and my ginger my peanuts, my chili, and my salt. And of course, I'm using coconut vinegar. But if you can't find coconut vinegar where you're from, use cane vinegar or whatever vinegar you like, except balsamic, of course, okay? You want strong acidity for this dish. And I have here my coconut milk. You're gonna be washing your fish in vinegar, and afterwards, you're gonna be throwing your vinegar out. And what I'm going to do is make it stay for two minutes. This is what you're going to do. Now, this is a crucial step, okay? You don't want to mash it also. You want to be, be gentle with the fish, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm taking out the fishiness of the fish. Now, our fish has been washed with vinegar and we're ready to start. Can't wait. Now, I'm going to start with putting the acid. Why? Because I want the fish cooked in my vinegar and my calamansi, which is Filipino lemon. And I'm putting my calamansi. I'm gonna mix this up first. And then I'm gonna be putting my red onions, my tomatoes, my chili. In my island, we don't make this dish without chili. My ginger. That's the second star of this dish, aside from your fish. It's all about the ginger. Now my black beans. You can get black beans from any Asian grocery. So I'm gonna mix everything in. Now I put about, this is 500 grams of fish. So this is about like a teaspoon of salt. You may add or subtract. Depends on your taste really. Now, lastly is your coconut cream or coconut milk. salted red egg. I want it inside because I want the flavors intensified. That's why I use a little salt because of this. This is salty. You can find this in Filipino groceries, but it's kind of funky. If you're not used to it, you may skip it. Okay. Then, now this is ready to go inside the fridge. For about an hour, and then I'm gonna eat this. Now, it's been an hour in my refrigerator and my Filipino ceviche, or kinilo as we call it in my island, is ready to be served. Now, I have here ice cold beer, which I can't wait to have with my kinilo. Now, I'm gonna plate this. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of my green mangoes or unripe mango and of course the roasted peanuts now see as i told you this dish you may or may not put certain things you may add you may subtract there's really no law or rule so i decided because i saw some green onions in my fridge i wanted to make it a little bit prettier by adding some green onions now, I'm ready.
ready to eat and taste my delicious Filipino ceviche. Now I want everything in my fork. As in everything. Mmm. Perfect. The sourness and the sweetness of the coconut cream and the freshness of the fish and the vegetables. Wow. I wish I were somewhere in the beach right now. But one can always pretend in one's kitchen. Cheers. Oh my gosh, with ice cold beer. I'm in heaven. Now, if you like this dish, please click www.mistress.com. I'll be glad to answer questions and clarify what needs to be clarified since this dish is a plus minus kind of thing. See you soon. Bye!